Hello YouTube, this is Alex from Stainsboard. Thank you for staying with us. In this video, we'll introduce you the new map clustering feature. What's that for? For usability and visibility. For example, we've added some thermostats on our map. This feature allows you to combine large numbers of devices on the map into clusters You may have 10, 20, 30 or more thermostats. As you can see, if you zoom out, the icons of these devices begin to overlap and it becomes difficult to reach the right one. Clustering helps you solve this issue. And here how it looks like with clustering the number of devices in the cluster visualized by a corresponding number, it's two of them. If we continue to zoom out, another cluster will contain our devices. Now let's see what can you do with clusters. Zoom when clicking on a cluster, simple and useful function. By clicking on a cluster, widget will fit all devices on a map and they will be visible in the same window. Next field is maximum zoom level when a marker can be part of a cluster. If the figure is 1, markers grouping on a large zoom level. If 18, grouping is provided on a smaller zoom level. Let's see some examples. Zoom level 10. and a smaller zoom level 18. Next field is show the bounds of markers when the mouse over a cluster. It's also an interesting feature. Display the boundaries of the placement of devices in the cluster on the cursor. Let's check how it works. Point the cursor and you'll see the limits of the devices of this cluster. Next feature, setting the visual effect of combining devices into a cluster. That's how it works. Next feature, the maximum radius that the cluster will cover in pixels. With this parameter we can adjust the radius of grouping the markers into a cluster in pixels. The smaller the number, the smaller the distance in pixels between the markers to group them. The larger the number, the greater the distance between the markers to group into a cluster. Use chunks for adding markers so the range doesn't freeze. This setting is relevant and usable for use cases from 500 markers on a map. With a large number of markers, they are loaded gradually at system-defined intervals. In other words, the map freezes periodically. When the number of devices on the map doesn't change, the system doesn't load or freeze for a while. After a while it loads new ones and so on to optimize resources.
use lazy load for adding markers. This setting is also relevant for users with 500 and more markers on the map. It activates the load of only the available markers on the map. Other markers that are outside of the window will not be loaded, thus optimizing the work of the browser and the other resources. Thank you for staying with us. Talk to you soon.